Shankar was the Raja's chief gardener. He worked from dawn to dusk in the royal gardens that stretched for miles. Multicolored flower beds, lush green lawns and clumps of majestic trees. He swept the leaves, watered the flowers, tended the young plants and saplings, rooted out weeds, raked and manured the soil and trimmed the hedges. From his cottage in the corner of the garden, where he lived with his wife Lakshmi, he kept an eye on things. One night... Shankar was completely perplexed. Where could the elephant have come from? It was white and Shankar had never seen a white elephant before. Suddenly, a thought struck him. When he was a boy, his mother had often told him stories of the gods who dwelt in heaven. Indra was their king and he rode Airavata a beautiful elephant whose skin was as white as snow. Surely, surely this is Airavata, Shankar exclaimed excitedly. Tired of the delicacies in heaven, he must have flown down to earth for a change. hold on to his tail. He will take me back with him and I shall see all the wonders of heaven. Just as dawn was breaking, the elephant finished his meal. He raised his trunk and trumpeted with satisfaction. Shankar knew it was time for him to leave. He ran up and caught hold of the elephant's tail. Ravata rose like a bird. Soon he was flying high above the clouds. Shankar looked down cautiously. The royal gardens were just a speck in the distance. They landed in heaven. Shankar's eyes filled with wonder. This must be paradise, the garden of heaven, he exclaimed delightedly. Look, look how big and beautiful the trees are. I wonder what kind of manure Indra's gardener uses. Shankar wandered around, marveling at everything. The trees were ten times larger than those on earth. 
the leaves ten times as lush, the fruit ten times as tasty, and the flowers ten times as colorful. At dusk, he suddenly remembered his wife waiting for him at home. He knew how worried she would be about him. I'll take her something, a present from heaven, he decided. Such a giant-sized fruit, she asked excitedly. From heaven, of course, Shankar replied. But be careful not to let anyone else into our secret. Lakshmi readily promised. husband went to heaven again and brought back a gigantic flower whose fragrance filled the whole cottage.
the fragrance spread to the neighbor's house. Pretty soon, the neighbor came over. Oh, what wonderful perfume you are using. Where did you get it? I'm not using any perfume, replied Lakshmi. That's the fragrance of my giant flower. Soon, Lakshmi was telling her friend the whole story. Of course, she made her promise not to tell anyone else. promised, but being a gossip could not keep the secret. So she told it to her friends after making them promise not to tell it to anyone else. They readily promised, but soon told it to their friends who promised not to tell anyone else. And so it continued till soon every woman and her husband knew the story. Before long, the whole town knew Shankar's secret. That night, Shankar rushed up and grasped the elephant's tail. Lakshmi held on to her husband's feet. Her friend held Lakshmi's feet. The friend's husband held his wife's feet. Another man held his feet. And that man's wife held her husband's feet. And so on and so on. When the white elephant rose into the air, a long chain of men and women trailed after him on his journey to heaven, each one clinging to the one above him. Lakshmi told me the fruits of heaven are very large, but she did not say exactly how big. Ask her and find out. My wife wants to know how large are the fruits of heaven? How large are the fruits of heaven? Lakshmi's friend wants to know. How large are the fruits of heaven? My friend wants to know. How large are the fruits of heaven? You'll see for yourself. Wait until we reach heaven. Tell her to wait until we reach heaven. Wait until we reach heaven. Wait until we reach heaven. You will see for yourself when we reach heaven. No, I just can't wait. Ask him to tell me now. My wife refuses to wait. You must tell her immediately how large the fruits and flowers of heaven are. Please tell her now. The fruits and flowers are enormous. Remember the mango I got you? It was this big. Ah! And all the men and women came tumbling down to earth. Thank you.